My name is uh, Ernest Mulato, I am MP from Angola and I am a member of uh, the Pan-African Parliament and I belong to the Cooperation and International Relations and the Resolution of the Conflict Commission. Uh, the discussions of, of today, this morning, we think that uh, it is very important uh, taking into consideration that uh, are the fundamental documents that uh, may help us uh, in most of our countries to improve the well-being of our peoples. So we discussed uh, the AGA, which is the architecture of the governance of Africa, and uh, that is one of the aspects that we need to, to work out if the Charter uh, African Charter can be ratified uh, from uh, most of our governments because so far very few have done so. So what we are discussing here to see the mechanism, the ways that it can be done. How can we talk, lobby before our governments so that uh, they ratify those instruments which will make Africa more, uh, what I can say, more respectable on the aspect of uh, governance, uh, the right, <coughs> the, 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 the development itself, you know. So if we don't do so, it is always difficult for us to have a democratic government in our countries. Besides having MPs from the respective countries, we think that uh, from time to time is always necessary that uh, the, <coughs> the, 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 the president or vice president, they should often visit some of our countries and uh, to try to lobby and to talk so that they can reinforce whatever we are trying to do uh, before our national uh, parliaments. So I think that is very important so that uh, the, the, the Pan-African parliament can be known also with the presence of uh, the, 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 ch the president of uh, all members delegation from the, the PAP to those countries.